Right. Oh, wait. What happened? No, I think we're good. Are we good? Hello. I don't think so. No, I think so. Here's the chat. Yeah, but the chat's always going to be there, even if we're not turned on. Go to, the... go to YouTube. Oh, boy. YouTube Studio. Because the go live button wasn't lit up. All right, let's just see. Hi. Okay, we're good. We're good. Wait, everybody, we are? Yeah, everybody's saying we're good. Hello, oh. everybody. I'm so confused. To day two of Needles at the Ready. Oh, we are on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, obviously, we are not as well prepared as uh, Cabin Boy, Nitz, and Stuart. But hello, everyone. Oh, good. You can see. All right. Yay. Well, <clears throat> Welcome, okay. everybody, to the first ever two Tude dudes. dudes. No. Yeah. Two no. Tube. Tube. Dudes. Dudes. Live. Live. Holiday edition. We have some wine. We do. Some vino. So we are just going to... We were inspired everybody. by the alcoholic uh, endeavors and undertakings of uh, Kevin Boynitz and Stuart. Um, so welcome, everyone. This is so exciting. Yeah. We are like even know where to look. smack in the middle of um, of the event. So we, we are, are we are two dubs dubs number two, three <laughs> no, three We're number three. I'm so I'm so bad at this. Hey Bridgeport, Connecticut. Hi there. Hello. So we just wanted to um, welcome you all in and thank you guys for checking out the um, previous channel. So you had Kevin Boy Nitz, yes. who is Christopher, and the other guy Jamie, yeah. and then <laughs> the <Stuart>. other guy. <laughs> And Stuart over at the Wool Patch, and thank you to um, Chip and Aaron from Fiber yeah, Hustle huge. for putting this all together and getting everything set up. Yeah. Um, so really an awesome, like, awesome event. I think this would be the start of hopefully yeah, something. This uh, is really more fun. to come. So this is really really cool. Um, yeah. So as you guys have watched, and as you watch this, because we only have forty five minutes, so so you, you know, know us, you know us. We have nothing to say really. Um, so over the next 45 minutes, just like in the other, uh, two dudes, dudes, whatever. <laughs> tube dudes. Tube dudes. I meant to say two other tube dudes. <laughs> so yeah, so say that five times fast, especially when you have a little vino. Um, you'll see some letters popping up. We're going to be opening these gifts down below here and yeah. have a letter down below. Should we do one now? Sure. Let's open a gift and show All them right, how we're it We're going to open a gift. Ready? And... Boom. Boom! So this one right, right here. Yeah. So there's your first letter. And as we progress, I will just tell you that there are nine letters. And when you and at the end of the our episode or this live, we're gonna have all of the letters all at one time um, on screen. It's going to be two words. That's what we will tell you. Yes. And another hint is that it is the name of a character in a holiday movie. Yes. Yes. Well, hello, Melbourne, Australia. And I just saw somebody from Milford, Connecticut. Hello. Wow, we've gotten we've got the local crew. I know. This is so exciting. So um, we have a couple of things to show. We're going to talk about some really fun and easy, um, like gift knitting or crocheting, creating to uh, to bring some cheer to the holidays and be able to give some of those things away to family and friends. And we are going to we're going to talk about some of our favorite nice. holiday things too. Yes. So why don't we start? Let's start with one of our favorite holidays. And you guys chime in to share this. What is one of your favorite holiday movies? Oh, so mine is uh, Christmas Vacation. <sighs> I think it is the funniest movie ever. Not even just at holiday time. I think it is the funniest movie ever, with the exception of Bridesmaids. Because Bridesmaids, I laugh out loud and pee myself Bridesmaid all the is time. Good, but... but this is, a, I think it's hilarious. And I hate when it's on TV. Because okay. they take out all the swears, yeah. and I think the swears, especially when he goes on his little monologue, um, and asking for the the Tylenol at the end of the monologue, and he starts um, swearing, I think is absolutely hilarious. Uh, so yeah, Christmas Vacation is absolutely my favorite, <laughs> my favorite movie around this time. <laughs> I have a bunch. So one of mine is going to be. I'm going to be really surprised if anybody knows what this movie is. It's probably one of the movies that started my love of Hallmark Movie Channel. 
movies. Okay. So growing up, I was a, ha- a fan of Charlie's Angels, and I was a Kelly Garrett fan. I love... Who's Kelly Garrett? That is Jacqueline Smith. I love me some Jacqueline Smith. Oh boy, did I have a crush on Jacqueline Smith in the day. Really? Let's open a gift for Jacqueline Smith. So... I'll open a gift for Jacqueline Smith. <laughs> um, Keep talking. What are you doing? I'm opening a gift. We have nine of oh, them. Oh, a gift. There's another one. There, there's another gift. Boop. Open. So she was in a made-for-TV holiday movie called The Night They Saved Christmas. And Wait, her, I feel like I might have seen this. Her and her family lived in... No, no, Farah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they uh, lived in the North Pole and... They were drilling for oil and the kids found their way into like the North Pole and they saved. And then the whole thing was like the nights that they saved Christmas. They had to get their dad to believe in Santa and stop the drilling. Did he? Yes. Good. And there was a little robot. There was a little robot in it too, if I remember. That's cute. Yeah. So somebody is saying A White Christmas. You know, I watched A White Christmas for the very first time last year. And throughout the whole entire movie, until the end, it didn't feel like a Christmas movie to me. No, not White Christmas. No, no. you. What did I watch? You watched for the first time. You watched. It's a wonderful. It's life. a wonderful life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. White Christmas. I still have never seen with Bing Crosby, but I love Bing Crosby. Oh, somebody's watching Christmas Vacation now. <gasps> Are they? Yep. Can waiting I for the over? squirrel scene. Oh my god, it's hilarious! Hilarious. <laughs> I love that movie so much. Um, um. Yeah. So great. So a lot of you, I put in uh, in the comments some of your favorite things. Oh, Muppets Xmas. Carol, that's a good one. Love Actually, that's a good Family one Stone's really good. I love Family Stone. And um, Jingle Jangle. Oh my gosh. Is um, that the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Or am I thinking that's Jingle All the Way? Oh, The ho- the Holiday. Yes. Thank you, Anita. I was just trying to think of the name. The Holiday. Love it. Cameron Diaz. Um, mm. And Kate Winslet. Jack Black. And I can't think of his name. So Miracle on 34th Street. Kevin loves Miracle, Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, Chelsea and Sue from Legacy Five Arts. Hi, guys. guys. So the the only thing with the with that movie is it has to be the original one yes. from like the 30s. It has to be the black and white. And it has to be the black and white. Yeah. Not the remade original one that's in color because that apparently, even no. though the dialogue and the scenes are no. exactly the same, it's no. a completely different feel. So black and white. And yeah. I think um, Chip and Aaron said something during Cabin Boy Knits. Um, podcast that the uh there's something special about black and white movies for sure i think that kind of like bring back the feels i yeah yeah and i actually want to watch it with some like different view like different Mm -hmm. eyes just to see the contrast because there is no color and i don't know that i've ever paid attention to that so i thought about it recently i would really like to watch it and just kind of like pay attention to the background yeah pay attention to the the contrast between what they're wearing in the set because they really had to pay a lot of attention to that you would think totally Totally. All right. So thank you. you. A couple of you have commented that you like our backdrop. Yes. Thanks. We thank replaced you. all of our yarn. We got rid of all of the yarn. Yep. All the runs. It's gone. gone. Uh, the Santa Claus. Yes. Oh, oh, the Santa Claus is great. Too. One and two. One and two. Um, all right. The third one was a little bit weird. It was weird. So why yeah. don't we talk about some knits or crochets or stuff? Why do yeah. you go first? All right. I'll go first. So these are really, um, I think, super cute. And I'll, I'll, um, I'll do one. When we were at Yarnia... This past weekend, last weekend, they had a really cute um, like holiday corner with a bunch of different holiday crafts that you can do. And you know me and I love my kits. So they had these cute kits by Mochi Mochi Land. And I don't think I've ever seen these before. Let me show you the finished product because I think it is absolutely freaking adorable. This is... No, it's so stinking cute. Oh, gosh. It's a little snowman. Bring it back so okay. they can skip the whole... All right. There you go. Isn't there it is. he or she or they, aren't they adorable? So, so I turned it into a little ornament. So I, um, I put a little loop there to hang it on the tree. But it's so freaking cute. You get enough in the... And we can pull up the, um, the picture, actually. Oh, yeah. Because we turned fancy here it is look at that let's move it up out so, of my face and so this is mine next to look at the little handful of them yeah aren't they so cute so this is the kit here and we'll have a link um down below maybe needs a nose that's a good idea but the pattern doesn't have a nose so i think it's kind of cute without you can certainly do a nose um this is the kit that i got 
And they're on Ravelry and they also on their website, they have a bunch of different patterns. I think the pattern by itself is about $6 for the snowmen. Totally worth it. Once you have the pattern, you can definitely do different sizes depending on the yarn that you use. This was um, a fingering weight yarn, I think uh, knit on a two, uh, two mil US two. So a 2.25 millimeter, no, US1, 2.25 millimeter needle. Super cute. I thought it was adorable. So, um, I and I honestly, I got that done in like, I don't know, two hours, if that, and took some breaks. The little scarf is cute. I thought the scarf would look cute in like a little eye cord. Oh, for sure. Right? If you were doing yeah. like a little eye cord. I would do, if I were to do an eye cord for that though, I don't know if you can. I've never yeah. attempted it, but like a two stitch eye cord. Maybe. Just, you don't want something super bulky, right. but I still think it's adorable. It is adorable. And I think making this larger with like bulky yarn, you can have one that probably will uh, sit on like a shelf. Yeah. Which I think would be really, really cute. So that was that. I thought Fun. that was really sweet. Yeah. I like the little, so somebody little things. Star said, oh, someone got a stream deck. We didn't. We may. Mm -mm. We're going to test this out and see. I do like, we used to stream a lot yeah. on Twitch. Yeah. So we're using a program called OBS um, that we're pretty familiar with. Uh, so we're just, <laughs> weirdo. So we're just trying that out and um, spend some time getting some of this stuff up here. So it's really nice to be able to do this little yeah, stuff. Yeah, we kind of brought back some of our um, OBS skills when we used to stream video games. Yeah. Um, so I... You know, I have some... Um, what do you have? Oh, and somebody said, it, yes, this is the flax sweater. Oh, this is the flax. Else. This is my first sweater that I ever knit. I like the color. I thought it was fitting for the season and what yeah. we're doing with a little green underneath. And that's knit out of Knit Picks Swish, Swish um, Worsted. Garnet Heather. Super Wash. Right? Mm -hmm. I think it's Garnet? Yep. And I made an error here. Don't oh, point out your error. No, 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 but, but I did the same on the other arm so that it matches. Oh, good job. Thanks. All right. So I'm going to talk about some quick gift knits. My favorite gift knit is a hat. Oh I think gosh, a little orange felted nose. Perfect idea. That's a good job. I think. Are you paying attention to how long we've been live for? I see the 12 time. minutes. It's, Psh, we've yeah, got time. I know. Look at us go. So I think a great gift knit is a hat. Yes. And if you can same. find a pattern with a DK weight yarn or worsted weight yarn, even yep. better. So one of my favorite hats. Although this hat is pretty much only for adults, I'm, I think that it's only one size. But again, it's a really great hat pattern. This is the Hatch Hat. Yeah. By you can get Brooklyn a few of Tweed. These. I have. Let's um, pop this up. We'll move it over, over here. Here's the Hatch Hat. So you can knit it in two sizes. You can do a like a watch cap yeah. or a beanie style. And then you could do a full on so you can fold up the brim. Which this one was probably folded up. You can see that it's, it's they're both, both been of these worn. Are, this both I worn. wear quite often. Yeah. It's really simple. Um, you're just changing up your ribbing. So it's a very simple ribbed hat. I used Brooklyn Tweed in both of mine. Um, this is Brooklyn Tweed Arbor yeah. for both the hats. Yeah. I do think if I were to use, we kind of talked about it yesterday, a non super wash yarn, I would probably just go down a needle size from the pattern. Just to make sure I'm creating a little bit of a denser fabric. Mm -hmm. But it's warm. It's really quick knit. Even though it's ribbing, I love knitting this. Um, it fits I your wear head it, so well. I wear it like every yeah. day. Yeah. I do. I wear it in the house all the time. I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely one of my go-to hat patterns. I'll be knitting one for our, one of our nephews for Christmas. And um, Patrick, this is called Hatch. It's Brooklyn Tweed, and if I'm not mistaken, it might be by Emily Green. Yeah, Emily Green. Right? Yep, that's correct. So fantastic. Great job. All right. Let's, and hold on. Let's open some gifts. Yeah, let's open up another gift. Let's do um, this one. Drum roll. Oh, oh, there's another one. And if any of the letters are, um, yeah, Tina. Let's see. What did Tina say? She wanted to know. She wanted the um, spelling of the pattern. So that's oh. Hatch Hat. Look at all of our friends I jumping know. in to help out. Good. You guys are fantastic. Way to go. Thanks for paying attention. Um, all right. So, and if the letters. Yeah, Diane, they are right. not mistakes. They are creative endeavors. I love that. I think that's great. Somebody said if you can't see the mistake while galloping by on a horse, then it's, uh, it's it doesn't matter. All right. You're up, bud. Okay, pal. <laughs> so um, 
I mean, we're still talking about hats. So this was one of the first hats that um, that I knit, and it's one that has definitely lasted a long time. It's very, very popular. It's the Antler Toque by Tin Can Knits. And we the cool thing about these, these hats is that all Tin Can Knit patterns are super size inclusive. So and they they include um, sizing for like newborns all the way up to like 5x you know head size or whatever it is so there we knit a bunch of these for our nieces and nephews two years ago for christmas and they still have them which is really really yeah. cute um but this one this one is mine this is knit out of um brooklyn tweed shelter no it's not shelter yeah it's that no it's brooklyn tweed shelter it? maybe yeah. it's brooklyn tweed shelter i'm not i can't i maybe you could check my it ravelry is... i don't know if it's even on there but I love I love the pattern. Um, I wow. love the it fits so well, and it it lasts forever. Obviously, the the yarn will last forever. Um, but what's really cool is that they they pay such attention to detail with the decreases and incorporating the cables into the decreases, which is super cool. Um, really lovely hat, and this knits up super fast. It's worsted weight, um, so it it does it knits up. Uh, like a dream and if you use yarn like this um you you may not be able to you may not have to use a cable needle yeah which i, I did there's another mistake stop looking at your mistakes it's okay it's another creative endeavor that i decided to take so yeah this is the antler toque uh by tin can Nets. really really cool pattern I, yeah. I don't i think it's free it is um is i believe free? it's a free pattern can somebody can somebody and, cross check us on that and um it is a worsted weight hat, so that's perfect. Um, if you do use a non-superwash yarn, definitely you can do it without cables. If you're new to cables, I think this is a great. Yeah. My, first this is my cable. first experience with cables, um, and I, I think it turned out well. Listen, if I could do it, then you know anybody can. Super, super easy. Um, I'm sorry, just to double to to jump in again with our 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 words down the bottom here. Do not put your guesses in the chat. There will be a link to um, a form that you can fill out. Um, what we are going to be giving away, which we didn't talk I about, know we didn't, I'm glad is to we're this. going to be giving away up to $25, your choice if you want a pattern book or certain patterns or a group of patterns that add up to about $25, um, anywhere that you would like them. If you want to have sewing or quilting in addition to knitting or crocheting, just choose choose whatever patterns that you'd like or a pattern ebook. We chose $25. You can get most ebooks for $25. That's really good Um bang for your buck i think with ebooks and so in the form link down below um you can enter your guess for the giveaway and then there's a little box for comments you can put whatever you want there but if you want a knitting pattern or an ebook or something you can do that and we'll contact all of the winners um we'll contact all of the winners and we'll have a conversation and kind of figure out how to get that to you so this again this is the antler toque by tin can knits and as we open up some more gifts, stay around to the end because then at the end we'll flash everything up at one time and you can see where the letters um, and you can see how many words there are. Yeah, how many words there are and how many letters there are in each word. Yes. So let's talk about another favorite holiday. Let's thing. talk about it. How about let's go with another favorite movie. Another favorite movie? Yeah, another holiday movie that you love. Um, I, so We said the Santa Claus. I do like the elf. I like elf. I, I think like, it's fun. You know what I like about Elf? I like what's her name? What's her name? Zoe. Zoe. Yeah, Zoe she's Dishnow. super cute. In she her. is, and when she sings, like when she's in the shower and she's singing, it just makes me want to sing with her. I love it. Yeah. So, um, how about you? So, and actually, everybody, Star, thank you. The all the links should already be down below in the description. Mm -hmm. It should have the name of the pattern that we've discussed and their link right there. So definitely check out Who the description. Who are we to be prepared? There's also um, the link to the Google form where you're going to enter your guess for our anagram once this is all over yes. is right down below too. So definitely totally. check that out. Polar Express is a great one too. No, no, no. But they are kind of creepy. No, Polar Express, they're creepy kids. I can't do it. The kids are a little... Oh my the, gosh. The animation is a little bit creepy. Remember, I bought it last year from Apple TV. You did, because you had package. never seen it. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
No, they're creepy. They, they're. It the was kids a, are a it was creepy. creepy for me. You know, I don't know if it's a Christmas. No, it's not a Christmas movie. So forget it. It just has Santa in it. But if it makes you feel like it's Christmas, then that's okay. I love um or Guardi Rise of the Guardians. Mm. Mm. It's kind of Christmassy, but okay. not really Christmassy. But I love Rise of the Guardians. Yes. Oh. Let's open up another gift. Okay, open up another gift. Let's see. Here we go. Next gift. Where'd it open. go? Oh, there it is. A different color. Boom. Oh, what are we gonna? <laughs> There yes, is. Brittany, I agree with you. Harry Potter does feel like Christmas. Yes, it totally does. Cheers to that. And we are drinking Pinot Grigio. We are. It's uh, my favorite white one. Mine too. All right. So next hat. This is another DK. It comes in multiple sizes. It has um, young adult and a, like a young adult and small. Mm-hmm. And it has an adult medium and an adult large. This is actually, we'll do this. This is the Coffee Talk toque by Tracy Miller. I knit the Coffee Talk socks when they first came out, and then I bought this pattern. I love the crown of it. Yeah, me too. I love the um, sections. Really quick DK knit. It fits incredibly well. This is knit with Trilogy yarns and whiskey, I believe. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful color. Right? Definitely one of my favorite colors. Yeah. But a great little... Like, kind of, I don't know. I think it's just such a good hat pattern. And then I've also knit this out of, I want to say this is yarn ink. Yes. I don't remember the colorway, though. It is. Cobbles. Oh, shoot. Remember, I... um, I do remember. Yeah, I I definitely know it's yarn ink. And Mm -hmm. I believe they're out of Canada. Yep. But a really great hat pattern. Um, Here, I'll throw it on. Yeah. So, Brenda, the word scramble is... All the letters at the bottom are going to make up some words. Right? So here's a really good... Yep, you're going to have to wait till we're all done. Yeah, until we'll all the all presents the are opened at the bottom. Not all of them. Only nine of them. Right, there's nine. Yeah, there's nine letters. And Patty, I agree. Benjamin Matthews oh, has some 100%. fantastic... He just had a new one that he released. Uh, something about a pine cone, I think. I can't remember. You're drinking Chardonnay. Cheers. We should have brought up the bottle. No, we should not. I brought up the bottle. We have work tomorrow. So yeah, another great gift pattern. Coffee Talk Toque. Yeah. Um, check this out. This one's mine. Kevin gave this to me for Christmas. Oh, this one's mine? I always forget who's Yeah, no, who's. it's this one because it's whiskey. Remember? And I loved it. I want a sweater yeah. out of this. Wouldn't I look good in a sweater? Like this? Yeah, this would be an awesome sweater too. They would. Totally. Um. Okay, so... What else? We have some more things. Let's take a break from a hat. I think we have one more hat to talk about. No, I... Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I have one more hat. So these are all... And the reason why we chose these patterns are if you're late to joining us. Oh, Pinecone Bearer. Thank you, Scott. That's great. So Pinecone Bearer by Benjamin Matthews is the new pattern that he just released. I think there's a discount um, on it today. So um, the reason why we chose these patterns, like I said, it's a, it's a good, really good gift knit Uh or a treat yourself knit. It's Wait, super quick. Hold on a sec. Yeah. So we're going to say hi to Rosalie. Hi, Rosalie. Hello. Hi, Happy ladies. holidays. Happy holidays. We're doing a little shouts outs. Shout outs. Um, okay. So, oh, it's free today. Code is Pinecone. Okay. Oh, okay. Everybody Somebody buy please that. remind me to, to, to purchase that pattern. Take a screenshot. Me. Here, I'm going to take a screenshot. Yeah, but then am I going to remember to look in my photos on my phone? Screenshot. Okay. okay. We got it. Great. All right. Um, so the next is also um, that I'll show is also a tin can knits pattern. And these are the paddle mitts. These are the, my very first fingerless mitts that I ever knit. This is also out of Brooklyn Tweed. Um, I think that they look so cool. I knit the large size, um, but they come in again. At so many different sizes. These are two years old as well. Um, this will be the third winter with them. And you can tell, like, there's a little felting going on there because of, like, you know, where I close my hands. But the yarn is held up very, very well. Um, I think I did a pretty good job with this. Yeah. The, and yeah. Are they worsted weight? Or is that... No, they're DK. Uh... Or is that fingering? Is that Brooklyn Tweed Loft? No, it's not. It's not fingering. Okay. It's either DK or Worsted. It, it could be DK. There, it's linked down below. Maybe you should follow our link and find out. Don't get sassy. I'm not sassy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm on wine. I'm going to pull it up. Pull it up. 
So um, super cool. You can do a whole bunch of different colors. The contrasting stripe here, it, you can use scraps. Um, they're very, very popular. I think I knit these uh, Magic Loop because I don't really do well with DPNs. So most of the patterns that I knit, something like this, and I, I mean, even something like this. DK. <clears throat> it's DK, thank you. Is uh, I use Magic Loop instead of DPNs. I just prefer that. Yeah, I, I'm. It's a little bit know. too fiddly. I'm on. I'm all magic loop. Yeah. So I thought these knit up super, super quick. Um, I mean, you could do one mint and just give it to them if you don't want to do the second one right away and be like, "Here's an IOU. Here's one. This will hold you over for a little while." Yeah, another good one. And I think too something that's fun with that is you could probably make your ribbing here as long or short oh, yeah. as you wanted to to kind yeah. of get through it a little bit quicker yeah and there are different sizes i the like i said i did the large i can probably get away with a medium yeah i think that's um, what you said after making them. yeah and i i never got around to making a second one second pair no i share sure. on my um list yeah. i actually have a different tan tin can knits knit pattern yeah. on my list for this winter yeah um i'm going to use caleb from drowning in your oh, arms yeah. uh directions to make them convertible convertible yeah. i think that's a really cool idea i mean i we talked about yesterday on our podcast the fingering weight ones the by kelly mcclure yeah. but um uh, but that's that's sock weight so it's probably gonna i don't know for sure because i haven't knit them yet but um that's for sure a little bit longer i think than dk yeah or worse than weight mittens hello kate our BFF from Knitting Posse. Oh, and then, hi, Kate. And somebody just said, too, that they just made a pair of um, Taylor Earls, who is Fiber for the People, or Wool Needle Hands on YouTube, um, has Fire Pit Mitts. Nice. And that's a super We all one. voted get the bottle. Oh, okay. If we get the bottle, we're not going to be able to yeah, stay not, for 45 minutes. No. Oh, let's open another gift. Oh, okay. Another gift being and then open. And then close the paddle mitts, because those are no longer relevant. All right, paddle mitts closed. New gift open. Where'd the so gift go? Have, oh, is that an A? So we have one, two, three, four, five of the nine Whoa, letters. We have four out. left. So here's paddle mitts. Paddle mitts. They're linked down below. P A D D L D D L E. Paddle. It's actually just paddle. Yeah, paddle. They're not called, yeah, paddle. Tin can knits. Thanks. And then up next, I also am going to talk about some mitts. These mitts are from a book called Knitting from the North, which is a beautiful book. How come I've never looked at this book before? I don't know. I've made Look a, at all a, those things on the back. I know. So look, here's some oh. of the patterns on the back, y'all. Oh my god, look at those mitts. Beautiful, beautiful book. Ooh, and that so, hat. This is for the um Fisherman Fisherman's Rib Fingerless Mitts. Mittens. Mittens. So here are the ones that I knit. Super easy. Somebody asked if my ends were woven in. I hope so. What's really fun about these is that they're muscle. knit flat. Look, you bastard. They're all knit in. <laughs> they're all knit to you. They're all woven in. This is inside out. This actually looks kind of cool inside out, too. Hmm. Hmm. Who asked me that? Was that Chip or Aaron? Don't tell me. I don't want it to lose chip. the friend today. It was Chip. These I are guarantee. actually fun reverse stockinette. Sorry, I stole your thunder. Go ahead. Fingerless. Uh, so here we go. These I knit out of beautiful. Brooklyn Tweed Perry. So I believe that's fingering weight. But it's still really easy and fast knit. You knit these flat and then you seam up the side. And that's it. Mm. Little mattress stitch and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. I did make another pair out of a DK weight. I just went up a couple needle sizes to make, still keep kind of a dense fabric. Yeah. So you can certainly kind of adjust the pattern based on the yarn that you're using. Just adjust your needle size and you still knit it the same um, width. And then just seam it up the side. You can make it as long as you want. You could extend it up to here. Oh, I think that's really just cool. Just putting your thumb wherever you want it. Same thing, you could make your... Um, like the, what's this? The cuff, we'll mm -hmm. say, a little bit longer. So I think that these are fantastic. What I did, I don't have them here, is I made these to go with it. I think I'm hallucinating. Did somebody knit a cuff for yeah, something? And me. then So I made these arrow cuffs. Where are they? That I just can wear under it or just keep them in my, like, on. So the wind's not going up my sleeve. Oh, that's a great idea. And these were super fun, fingering weight as well. But really, really quick knit. Is Fisherman's Rib hard? 
No. It was not hard. Oh. <clears throat> so that... All right. ...is my next one. So here they are, not on me. Really cute. Very Simple, cute. Simple, fast-knit, mattress stitch. I love the little rolled cuff. Me too. Right? Yeah, I love it. Adorbs. Totes. Um, so, all right, we need to fill some time. No, we have some more things to talk about. What else are we talking about? Let's open a gift. All right, let's open up another gift, guys. Let's have, see where I this still one's going to go. I have a cute little thing to... Oh, oh there's there our next letter. It's another A. We only have three letters left. <gasps> you guys having fun? This is so much fun. It is. What's, so what's Remember one of your... Remember you're on wine. I know. I'm on I wine. Know. I know. What's one of your other favorite holiday things? A- things? Anything in general. I like getting together with... Um, I like getting together with like family and friends. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I do. You know what I really love? And it's not a, like a Christmas thing, but I like New Year's. I like our New Year's tradition that we get together with Robbie and Isabella. We get together with my brother and our sister-in-law uh, every New Year's. And we usually just do like pajamas. And oh. And a bunch of like... New Year's in pajamas is the way to go. New Year's in pajamas. And we do like hors d'oeuvres and just snacks and hang out and have a couple of drinks. Yeah, his brother a couple years ago and now they're always requested is um to make us chicken parm egg rolls <gasps> those were so good oh my god you those guys were so good so let's see we ha- here's a couple questions what sh- did you get a hand dyed advent we did no. Oh, well, we, yes. We kind of did. Kind of. We got the advent from Woolens and Nosh. Yes. So it came in two 50 gram skeins and they're packaged in like um, a cloth bag. Mm hmm. And we get to knit one stripe, color repeat a night. Yeah. And that's the only one we did. We didn't buy any other advents. No. We were really good because we don't know what to do really with all the minis that we have. Totally. We have, I think, five admin or advents that we found the other day in our closet. I'm going to start knitting a blanket in the new year, but um, yeah, we just don't know what to do with them. So yeah, I think for, I'm going to do like a, a magic knot ball no, with them. That scare me too much. Yeah, but and then I might like crochet a blanket. I think that would be like really cute. Oh, um, Christmas Eve dinner sandwiches from Debella's. I love Debella's. I've never had Debella's, and they're really close to us. Who? Oh, you're my new best friend. I can't even. Where's the Debella? Oh, I think it's Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, yeah, you and I are best friends. I love Debella's. Their steak and cheese yeah. is fantastic. Hey, look, there's Pam. Hi, Hi Pam. Pam. Hi. Um, I'm going to scroll up and see. This is where I'm going to start getting lost. What is your favorite holiday treat? So oh. mine would be. I started making a couple years ago. They're called apple pie oh shortbread God. bars. And they're delicious. They are so good. Um, my other one is, I believe this is from Giada from Food Network. They're a almond cherry cookie. Oh, yeah. I and, forgot about those, right? Kev. Yeah. So they're really delicious. And they're well. really easy to make. They are. They have a little of the um, frosting like drizzled on top that you make yeah. with the powdered sugar. Yeah. But... I definitely love the apple pie shortbread bars. I'm Same. not a huge apple pie person. I love apples. Not always in pies. Homemade almond roca toffee. Hi, Carrie. Mm, of course it's Homemade Carrie. Biscotti. I know. Carrie probably... She, I'm sure probably she makes it herself. She probably grows the almonds on the trees. Like She probably has them in her backyard. <laughs> I can't. Um, do you guys want to see something that I think is absolutely adorable that I cannot wait? I have, I've been mm. sitting on this to show because I think it's the freaking cutest goddamn thing in the whole world. Somebody said, can we link the recipe? You talk. I'm going to try to link a recipe. What recipe? The, oh, sorry. the almond roca thing? Okay. So this is, I, I don't remember the name of the pattern. Um, I think oh, it's called on. a pine cone gnome. You guys ready for this? Wait, I need to put the picture Wait, up. Wait, I just want to show it. Okay, go ahead. It's so freaking Is adorable. this not the cutest thing, like, ever? I'll give it, I'll give it a minute to, to connect with you all. But I think that this is absolutely adorable. All you need is a pine cone, a crochet hook, and some scrap yarn. And the pattern is completely free. Um, that's it right there. You can do all a bunch of different colors. 
I was going to try to do red. I know, everyone. I was trying to do red, um, but I, I was doing it in the, like, at nighttime. So it, uh, it was really hard to see. So I opted for this really cool, like, icy blue. This is blue, right? Yes. <laughs> um, so he's really cute. His nose, like you just, you just stick it on the pine cone. Oh my gosh, I did not know that yes, you did that. Yes, and That's the adorable. hat I just stuck on the pine cone. I did so, um, not so, I did glue the feet on. But, um, I mean, you don't have to. You can probably slip the feet on depending on your the kind of pine cone that you do. But I think that this is absolutely adorable. We have a ton of pine cones. One of my one of our favorite things to do um, with our niece and one of her favorite things to do as well is to go in our backyard. We have a huge pine tree. We might have talked about this before, is that they drop all the pine cones. And so we get all of our pine cones. It's a game that we play with her is go and collect the pine cones in the backyard. But this is the pine cone gnome. Um, I'm not sure who it's by, but it is linked down below. And I think it is so freaking cute. You just, you knit the hat. I mean, this would be crochet. a cute crochet. Sorry, it's all crocheted. And um, this is using fingering weight yarn, but you can use, you can use, no, this is sport weight. This is sport weight. This is knit picks. Um, Whatever. Wool of the Andes. Sport. Sport weight. Non-superwash. Uh, but you can use any of your scraps that you have. I'm going to do one with uh, like variegated. With the green that I used for Reese's sweater. Oh yeah, yeah. Because she wants she wants one in green. <clears throat> so I told her, you can't touch it. You can't play with it until I get until Uncle Ray shows it on the podcast. So some people are asking where to get pine cones. Really good tip if you oh. live in the states. Typically this time of year, Joanne's has them yeah. because they they have them that smell like cinnamon. So that's even a re- better bonus. Yeah, so that's a good place to get it. So one of your big box craft stores. If you have pine cones local to you and they aren't open like that, if you preheat your oven to 200 degrees, yes. put the oh, pine cones. Yeah, put the pine cones in on a cookie sheet with some like parchment paper so that you don't get all the dirt on it. Just let them kind of cook in there and dry out, and the pine cones will open up like mm-hmm. that. So it's a really great way if you have them and they're not open to get those to um, open up. Yeah, and super cool. Like, you, it doesn't have to be holiday. It doesn't have to be for Christmas or Hanukkah or any of that stuff. You can just do, like, just for fun. Just for funsies. All fun different colors. You could do summer versions, spring versions. I think that would be really cool. My cheeks are starting to get red from the wine. Are they? Mm-hmm. Oh, good for you. You should have brought a bottle. No, absolutely not. Party! So, oh, a new gift. Let's open up another open package. Up a gift. Let's see. That one may be hard to see. That's an L. It is an L. So we have seven of our nine letters yes. opened. We currently have open. L, B, K, C, A, A, R. Okay. Yay. All right. So my last hat, if you've watched our channel before, this should come as no surprise to any of y'all. You have quite a few of them. This isn't even all of them. I There's know. one more. And this is Lyle Cap. Yeah. This is by Blue Sky Fiber. Blue Co. Sky Fiber. It is a DK hat. It yep. does unfortunately only come in one size. So it's knit on a US 7 with DK weight yarn. You cast on 100 stitches. Mm-hmm. You do very little ribbing. I do five to eight rows of ribbing. Yes. It's a one by one knit through the back loop. It's a free pattern. You knit until you get to about, I think, seven, seven and a half inches, and you do some quick decreases. So this is one. Here's another. This one is Leading Men Fiber Arts. This one, I believe, is Lane and Lotus. And then this is my most worn one. It's quite wrinkled because it was in my bag that I take with me to work. And this is from Into the World. Oh, that's I love that yarn. I know I tried to find this when we were at Rhinebeck, yeah. but I didn't see the colorway out. So I should just take a picture and send it to them and ask them what this colorway is and if I could just have a bunch of it because I think it's fantastic. So you're just gonna send like a picture? Yeah, ask them to tell me the colorway name. Okay, but I think I mean I want him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's under the Christmas okay, tree. Okay, well I'll see if I can. It's um Lyle. I'll see if I can get him. Yeah, for you Lyle, for Christmas. Have Lyle bring your sweaters quantity of yarn. <laughs> come <laughs> NATR after dark <laughs> come running through on Rudolph oh 
Let's not. Can you close that? <laughs> <laughs> so that is the Lyle cap. Yes. All Let's right. open up some more gifts. Let's open up another one. Let's see. All right, and just a reminder for why the letters are down below and what we're opening. This is for a giveaway that we're having, and all of the tube dudes psh, score are doing something very similar where we're putting a bunch of letters. Bob Clark. Girl. <laughs> I love we're, it. We're, um, we're doing like an anagram kind of thing, and you'll have to solve the, the puzzle and, and um, put the letters together to form words. And the one, the people who win will get a prize from us. And that's $25 towards any pattern or patterns or ebook that you'd yeah. like from anywhere. And um, yeah, so at the end of the podcast, we'll, we'll flash you our letters and, um, and you'll be able to see. And you can enter by filling out the Google form link down below. And then I think Michael is moderating. I don't know if he's been putting in any links, but that's okay. It totally is fine. No, no pressure, Michael. No, there. And ATR well, After Dark is hilarious. And then I'm gonna do another mention of a pattern. I haven't knit it yet. Oh darn it! You gotta sign into Ravelry. Isn't that the worst? All right. So now you're not gonna show it because you no, I am gonna show it. But it's a worsted weight hat. It just came out. It has a very little cable, and I believe I've seen it around and. It looks super easy, and I think it's going to be a great gift knit. Is the Snow Globe hat oh, yeah, by, by Tin, Tin Can, Can Knits. It is in their I if I most up, recent. I'm, I'm signed into Ravelry um, ebook, and I thought that that would be a good prize. Yeah, so totally, definitely check that out if you're looking for it. It's called Lazy Sunday by Tin oh, Can book. Knits, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten patterns in it. One of them is called Snow Globe. Here and I just think it looks oh, like a beautiful It does. Hat. It's so good. Isn't that nice? And that's... Uh, you're not going to be able to see that. But that's Snow Globe by Tin Can Nets. It's $6 pattern. But the book's 24 So That's what I think for... Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh. That's, that's beautiful. Yes. Okay. That's where I saw it. So Kathleen from Chronicles of Yarnia, she knit it. Oh, yeah. She had it on their podcast recently, and she knit it out of, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, one out of Kelborn Woolen's Lucky Tweed and the other out of the Eco Tweed. Mm. Right? And that is why when we were at... I was going to reach behind that's why me we, and grab When we were at um, Yarnia, I bought... <laughs> Lucky Tweed and Eco Tweed. Yeah, I, the cubbies. Right? Oh, they're. We gave we, away, we all, gave of our away yarn. all of our yarn. So we got nothing left. I can't even show it to you guys anymore. I'm so sorry. sorry. We left them on a box on our front porch. <laughs> Boxes. I wonder if all they're right. still there. And we're going to open up the last letter Eco Tweed. And our last letter's out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> all nine letters Boom! are out. We, How are we doing on time? We are three minutes under time. What? Look at us go. Oh, you drink your wine really quick. That's why I said we should have brought the bottle. Guys, look at my wine glass. I know. Though. It's really cute. Right? Adorable. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, both were eco tweet. Okay. Oh. Hello, Lynn from England. Good evening. This is really fun. I know. I, I like really this. don't want to leave. I really like the OBS setup. Hey, Lisa says we're off our yarn diet. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, now we could buy more yarn because we got rid of it. Yeah, all. you're right. Crickets now behind us. <laughs> so, so this is really fun. So the next, we're not going to be going yet. We have a few more minutes, and right. I like to, good to the last drop. Um, Michael will be coming up next. Yes, peace for, for peace, peace for crafting. peace crafting. So we're going to release him if he doesn't want to moderate for us anymore and needs some extra time to put on put on his face. Um, I have no I idea what he's doing. Put on his face. <laughs> um, and so yeah, this has really been so much fun all day. Like. We've been looking forward to this for we really like have. two weeks. And, Any um, 2023 nope. knitting resolutions? Knitting resolutions. Yeah, I want to do more sweaters. Me too. It's not a resolution. I just think it's a, um, it's an, hey, this is what I want to do. Right. I'm not doing a make nine or anything. I just, I want to do more sweaters. I have two cardigans on the list. Three cardigans on the list. Oh, I have a cardigan, a cardigan. No, I have a cardigan, a pullover, a pullover. I think I have three on the list. I could have five. I don't remember. I don't know. 
So here's what we're so we have all of our letters up. Yes. Yeah, so let's flash the. So here you got guys go. This is our anagram. This are these are our nine letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. seven, eight, nine. So you, it's two words, and just don't get confused. The you can like say maybe this B belongs over here in this word. Maybe this K belongs over here in this word. So the letters are jumbled. These like word one doesn't just contain doesn't contain all of those letters, and word two doesn't contain those letters. So you mix them around, mix them around. But you have five letters in word one, and four letters in word two, and, and you have to use you have to use all of those letters. So do not put it in the comments down below. Um, make sure that you put it. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. And just so you all know, the word comes from a movie that we discussed today. I don't know if we discussed the movie today. Oh, no, we didn't. We did not. How did you not drop that as your favorite? I was going to. It's not my favorite. Okay, so the movie that this references, because we did not discuss it, and that was the point. So I will say this. I won't say the name of the movie, but I will say they play it over and over and over and over. Don't shoot your eye out. Over <laughs> again. Just don't shoot your eye out, guys. That's my clue. And it's a character from that movie. Yeah. Don't shoot your eye it out. It might be an obscure character, but it's still a character it from is. that movie. So that's Hi, oh, hi Gary. Gary. You're a little late to the party, bud. No. <laughs> You're so rude. He had a glass of wine. Don't mind him. I'm I feel I'm I'm very friendly when I drink wine. Look how much closer I've been to you. I know you wanted Lyle to I'm come like to I'm like basically house. sitting on You're your You're really lap. friendly. Come on, Kyle. Lyle. Who's Kyle, Kev? Not Kyle. Do we need to have this conversation now? Let's wait till we're, we end the podcast. Wait till I hit end broadcast. <laughs> and then we'll have the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we're not allowed. This is why we don't drink during the podcast. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, everybody. Leg lamp. Thank you That again. would be a really good clue. <laughs> we should have added that in there, but it's definitely not leg lamp. I will tell you all right now it's not leg lamp. It's so please don't not. guess that. Um, so again, guys, the link to the Google form is down below. Go fill out the form. Put in your guesses there. The form is going to be active for 24 hours after yes. Fiber Hustle good ends. Good call. Right. So after Fiber Hustle ends their live, you have 24 hours to enter, and then we're locking the Google form. And we'll be picking a winner. If you know what ebook you want or the patterns that you want, there's a comment section there. Somebody said, what's Ray like after a bottle? <laughs> Sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely just use the comments. If you know the pattern or the ebook, type it there. And then this way, if you do win, we can get it sent right over to you via email. Yes. This has been so much fun. Yes. A huge thank you again to uh, Chip and Aaron over at Fiber Hustle. This was their brainchild to put something like this together. I, I am having so much fun. I think it's been great to see Stuart and Cabin Boy Nitz. And yeah, I'm sure Michael yeah. and Chip and Aaron are going to be great as well. What a fun day to be able to like sit down and celebrate you all and give you an opportunity to craft along with us, get some ideas. Hopefully we've inspired some of you folks. Um, we cannot thank you enough. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. And so, we'll see you in a fortnight. Yeah. Literally. All right. Yeah. Actually. One day minus a fortnight. I don't know what okay. it's called. All right. Bye, everybody.